What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. How are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good, honestly. Uh, today, you're going to be watching Cade's life unfold in uh, your eyes. Uh, I decided to pick up the camera and just do something a little bit different, as always, you know me. I can never really make up my mind, can I? This is Kate adulting, okay? He went to the grocery store, got about $48 of groceries. Now do you think, oh, he's making a meal. Oh, he's, uh, you know, he's getting groceries for the week. And that second guess would actually be probably accurate the most. Shh, quiet, I'm trying to film a video. So that being said, um, I did get groceries for the whole entire week uh, for myself, Brennan a little bit. We're also gonna be baking a dish. Um, it's gonna be chicken, dude, come. You guys probably can't hear them, but I can hear them every single day, all of my life. Listen to the Post Malone's new album, hashtag, hashtag, hashtag awesome, lit, fam. I, I think it's really good. I think he did a very well job. Um, many producers on those tracks, and I think it turned out very well. Also, the new song, Memories by Maroon 5. I don't know why. Through the ones that we got. Memories Maroon 5. Ooh. John Bellion, he produced, he was a producer on that track, I believe. And uh, he did a great job with that too. Uh, anyways, <laughs> back to shopping. We got the essential almond milk. It's not even what I drink, it's normally like what I put in my granola or cereal. If I eat cereal, I don't, I normally do granola. We got some um, essential, okay, so now here's the thing. If you guys are eating healthy, right? No, I'm talking healthy, healthy, like, well, okay, not too healthy, because that's a little overboard, but if you're eating healthy, like, uh, you know, like chicken and rice, for example, these save your life. That and seasonings because, uh, we're not sponsored by either one of these, but they save your life because it's just like sauces and that's so important to have like an actual substance because chicken and rice can get old. You can do different seasonings on the chicken, but it really doesn't matter. Okay, cheese, carrots. You gotta have some carrots. Now, listen, I was skeptical of the fact that they're in a bag because I remember as a kid in the cafeteria, I'd open up the bag and I'd go, Boom, I'm not gonna actually do it because I don't want to open these, but boom, right? And then I have these purple stains on my hands. I'm like, what could this be from? And then I realized it was the carrots. The carrots. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want purple stain on my fingers, so I don't want them on my carrots. Back to the bag situation. Uh, I don't think it's like that, and they're 99 cents. Okay, so we got some bread. We also got meat for sandwiches. These are essential if you like sandwiches. Um, Brennan gets a ham, he's a ham guy, I'm a turkey guy. What can I say, do I mix them? Never, no, and do I eat his ham? Never. Yeah, I don't know, I just don't like ham, it's just not one of my things. Choosing your bread, very complicated process, not really actually at all. 12 grain, baby. I don't like 12 grain, I'd rather have multi grain. They didn't have it at the store, what do you do? You substitute it for something that's lesser. He gets white bread. This is another difference, okay? When you're living with a roommate, you understand that they have different needs and you have different needs. So you have to fulfill yourself. You have to fulfill yourself, okay? White bread. That's what Brennan eats, okay? Okay, now these ones, Claire, especially. Claire, do not, my sister, skip past this part. I don't want her to know I'm endorsing this. They're not TV dinners, okay? They're simple dinners, okay? And there's a difference because the reason is it's a healthy choice. It doesn't mean it's healthy, it just means it's a healthier choice than what you had. Uh, so don't let them fool you there. They do come in these like containers. It's not that much. It's about like 280 calories. They look healthy. You feel better. So here's the problem. I work. Oh my god. <laughs> I work. You work. Everyone works. And uh, when you come home from, you know, your dinner break, I have a dinner break. If you come home on a regular day, then this is what you want to eat. If you don't have anything made, normally I'm meal prep. But let's say you get busy during the week. Why? Because you work. So there's that. Secondly. I was watching this movie and I was like, what is in her sandwich? We've been eating sandwiches for like lunch every single day. Now we'll go out, like today I got Chipotle. I know, hard life, right? I was watching this movie and I saw this girl and she had peppers in her sandwich. At least it looked like that. Now, oh, I forgot to get the banana peppers. Or not banana peppers, what are they called? I don't know, they're like short yellow ones. But anyways, I got a yellow and a red pepper. And those will go great because you can do like the red pepper with like cooking like chicken. Uh, any kind of meals like that. You can also like cut them up and like eat them with hummus. I didn't buy any hummus, could have. So Cade was watching this video and realized I don't have enough vegetables in my life. So that being said, I have my own vegetable um, needs. I just got sweet corn, 
but no salt added, which it really doesn't matter. I mean, because I, I rinse them anyways. And then two mixed vegetables because white helps you breathe. I don't know what white does. Kind of came to the conclusion that I needed to get uh, more vegetables. Now I have my own vegetable thing and I'll show you that actually. Look at this. Look at all those. Look at that. That's my own. Well, not really. I mean, like I cook it for everybody, but like, damn, right? You know? It's good. You just got to eat more vegetables. Anyways, you guys understand now a lot of different things that you didn't and honestly, it's just adulting. It's one of the hardest things to do in life, but eventually you just have to kind of do it. The other thing is, look at this. We got, we got chicken that's still frozen. So for this chicken dish, I was thinking since these breasts, since these breasts that I buy are so thick, we're going to cut them in half. And when we cut them in half, we're going to be filleting them open. Filleting is a term used for cutting. And then we're going to use uh, spices. I decided that we're actually going to do this a little bit differently, if you ask, Cade. The chicken's in here. We're going to grab the scissors. I don't know what this is, and that's what kind of scares me. We're going to cut it right off because we don't want it in there. in there. Okay, so you're going to take the chicken breast. You're going to cut it like this. Yeah, they're pretty hard. You can grab a knife, preferably a sharp one. You know, you don't want to get a stupid knife. Now, with this being frozen, this is actually a really dumb idea uh, because of the fact that uh, they could, you know, it's frozen so it seems hard, and then all of a sudden it's just like really easy. And like, so you slip up and you might like cut your hand. But that's breast uno. Breast dose is over here. We're gonna cut into this. That is kind of what we want. We want that. We want that consistency of like a nice, even cut the breast. Now the only problem is they are frozen still. Like I said, with these chicken breasts, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite seasoning of all time and then a different mixture. When it comes to seasoning your chicken, you may think, Cade, you know, I don't know what to do. I'm not like a professional with seasoning and neither am I. This is why you get poultry seasoning. It's like the easiest thing to use on chicken. Um, poultry is chicken and it, it's, it's delicious. It's really good and it's simple. It's simple and it's already made up for you. So then you can just dump this. So that's what we're gonna do right now. When you're seasoning chicken or really any meat at all, not a lot of people understand of how much you actually have to put on to make it actually taste. Now you look like, oh my god, you're putting a lot on. Okay, so that is number one, just poultry seasoning. The second seasoning I like to do, this is a mixture. One, first step, garlic powder. Okay, now I wouldn't advise doing this, but since I am a chef, I kind of know what to do. Um, and then you're gonna get paprika. Really, what you'd want to do in this case, probably basil, by the way, is mix all of this in a bowl and then sprinkle it on the chicken. But like I said, since I have experience and stuff, I kind of know what to put on what don't. You just want to do a little bit of salt. This salt shaker is really fast at coming out, so that's good. And then pepper that crap out of it. Pepper makes everything just a little bit better in the kitchen, as my dad used to say. So that is the chicken. 350, 45 minutes, you're golden. What we're going to do right now is also that's going with the chicken for meal prep is going to be a riso. Mom taught me this. For every one cup of rice, it's one and a half cups of water. So you have two cups of rice, two and a half cups. And then uh, from there, you're just gonna shut the lid. You're not gonna hit anything yet. You hit white rice, but we're not gonna do that until the chicken is in the oven because they happen to come out at the same time. If not, the rice is a little bit early, but it needs time to cool off. Gotcha. What I kind of realized is that since they are still frozen, they're actually going to need to probably cook a little longer than 45 minutes. Alright guys, chickens are pulled out from the oven. Okay, they're filleted. Check. Cooked. Check. Rice. Ow! Okay, hold on. Rice. Oh. Okay, maybe not. But anyways, yeah. Rice cooked. Okay, now that you made it through the process, 
of, show, of me showing you what I did. We went through the process. Now, we're gonna put this, all the chicken and rice together that you saw uh, in the fridge. But you wanna leave it like a gap like this because it's still hot, Brennan. And so that's part of the reason. Is this moms out there? Yes. Hi, moms. <laughs> Hi, moms. <laughs> that's from the movie. Okay, anyways. What you do is you put them in like that. <laughs> okay. Then you leave it in for 20 minutes. No, it's only five. No. All right, moms, welcome back. Think it's good. So you know, now you just cover them, and you either date them or you remember the date. I'm not gonna date them this time because I did that last time. I did it like in Expo Marker, and and uh, it stayed on, which makes no sense because it's Expo Expo Marker. But now you can say that you successfully watched somebody adult and meal prep at the same time. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I have no idea what this video was. Have a nice flipping day and subscribe if you're new leave a like down below drop a comment and honestly share this video if you can all right let's go get some mcdonald's okay yeah. we're not doing that i don't know why he said that i'll see you guys in the next one yeah. <laughs>